What's up guys, this video is brought to you by TDK Mix, you can't miss if you want, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail using Photoshop, CS6, CS5, even CS4 in 2014. Now as you can see down here, yes it is, uh, where did I go? Come on, you want to do it, you want to do it, just stay up, <sighs> whatever, it says <laughs> Photoshop CS6, so first thing you want to do is go to File, New when you open it up. And I actually have a custom YouTube one. This is one of my presets that I've created. You can also go down, it'll say custom down here. But I'm gonna go back to my preset real quick and you wanna copy these down with 1280 and height 120. Now the resolution doesn't really matter in my opinion, but here's what does matter. You don't want a white background nor background color. You wanna try to get a transparent you know background content so we'll click OK and you'll see this let's come on load up you can do it that believe you okay there we go so first off there are a lot of different things you can do with the background using where you at gradient tool which is also control or just hit G and you can click this up here and these are my presets you'll probably see up to this one right here you probably see it to there these four are my presets, so I'm gonna create a preset right now. Actually, you can do that by clicking this bottom color right here, and you can go down to a color. I like the color red, so it will see the current, then the new. So you'll see how that changed. You can hit OK, then you're gonna go for a darker version of red, which is right around here. And you can click OK, then OK as well. So then you wanna do is hit Shift so it stays straight. Then click the mouse button and drag straight down, guys. And this is what you see. It's not going to be that different, but we're definitely going to change it up and create a starburst effect. I'll explain later what that is. Then go to filter, distort, and skip all these and go down to wave. Now, what I usually do is you make sure the type isn't triangle nor sign. Make sure it's square, guys. What I usually do is around 220. Then the minimum or maximum. This should auto adjust by itself. 155. Then you click the minimum. See how that's 156. For amplitude, it'll be 55. Then you can click scale and it'll be like this. You don't want to touch the scale, guys. So then don't hit randomize. Don't hit warp again. Just hit, you know, okay. And you'll see this. Now, this isn't that appealing, especially to me. So I'm going to go to. Distort one more time. Let's filter distort. Then we're gonna go to polar coordinates, guys. And this is what you're gonna see: rectangular to polar, or polar to rectangular. We're gonna go with polar rectangle. Go to rectangular to polar, guys. Click OK, and then you'll see this. And look at this. This looks pretty good. Cool, right? All right. So next thing you wanna do, you either click the text tool right here, or you can hit Control T for the shortcut. I like having a shortcut. We're going to wait a second for us a little symbol to change the text tool. Do, do. Here we go, guys. And we're going to, oops, didn't want that. We want to delete that layer real quick. Delete that. Delete that layer as well. Yes. And you're going to go to text tool. And you're going to drag the text down, 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 down. This is all in your personal preference, guys. I'm going to make the text actually. Uh, what should I make the text? Uh, how about 210? Boom. Oh. Oh, uh, that's too big in my opinion. So she said 180. Boom. Uh, scale it down one more time. 150. That's a good text. Okay. Now, the text I'm using is Bebis New. You can actually download it by going to this website. Type in dafont.com. With her below. And it has a bunch of different fonts that you can well that's a pretty cool one. I may download that later it has a bunch of different font guy fonts guys that you can download so we're gonna exit that real quick there's my channel we're gonna go back to Photoshop and like I said I'm using Bebis new we're gonna type in um how to create a we're gonna leave the space real quick um Nail. Spell create wrong. Whoa. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I'm kidding. So what you want to do now is make this look all fancy, right? So I'm gonna hit this, right click this, right click it one more time. I'm gonna go to blending options, guys. Now I'm gonna go to gradient overlay. 
see how that goes from a white to a black this is the gradient right here we're going to click this you can change the color like i said before by double clicking these choosing your color doing the same thing over here double -clicking these, choosing color. i actually like this overlay because it looks pretty good in my opinion so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually hold on make this closer to the middle we're trying to, we're gonna fool around with this fool about with this guys uh -huh. what looks good to me let's see i'm gonna try to get more exposure up here that looks pretty good guys so we're gonna hit that and my opinion like i said looks pretty good <laughs> so now we're gonna go to drop shadow and see how it adds a little more def definition to it you can leave the opacity alone you can at the distance that looks too big that looks too small that's oh and <laughs> we're gonna go 12 or maybe even 10 that looks about good guys or you can skip the drop shadow and add something called where'd it go a stroke here it is that's just so it has little lines over it you can pick the color for the stroke the size again you don't want it to be too big or that'll happen no, it'll be too small you can't notice the stroke so a good stroke in my opinion would be around eight so actually i like the drop shadow and this looks perfect to me so we're going to drag this back here we're going to click okay so kidding v you'll get your selection or move tool and you're just going to move the tag try to center it right there and that looks You'll probably be wondering why it is the how to create a then it's a big space then thumbnail guys and well that's just because we're gonna add something now you can download these via you know Google Google.com no no I'm gonna go uh I don't wanna search up um you can search up anything really like YouTube logo PNG see. You can see any PNG logo. PNG is really important, guys, because it has that see how. Wait for it to load. Oh, whoa, 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 where'd it go? Whoa. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Mm, don't like that. Don't like that. Anyway, I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go to File, Open. These are thumbnails that I recently created. I'm gonna go to my. Where'd you go? Library, open my pictures. I'm gonna search up YouTube. Where do I have it? Where do I have it? Where do I have it? Yep, YouTube. I can see PNG. So we're gonna take that real quick. And as you can see, this is what I wanted to get for the PNG because it has a transparent layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that over here, hold on to it, then drop it down. And you can see, whoa, that's a giant layer. We're gonna delete that really quick, guys. So we're gonna resize this image. This is probably going to be a lengthy tutorial. So we're going to image, image size, resize it to about uh, 300 by 300. Image, that looks pretty smaller. And we're going to drag it over here and we're going to do something. And does it look, how does it look now? Actually, we're going to do one more resize to about um, 2 by 50. 250 by 250. 250, 250. That looks a little smaller. We're gonna drag it over, not release, and then we're gonna let it go and see how this looks. This looks pretty good, actually. In my opinion, that looks pretty good. And as you can see, you know how to create a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm gonna try to stand on it real quick. We're gonna click on these layers. That's the basics on how to create a YouTube thumbnail, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash down that like button. If you aren't already, please hit subscribe. Now, to save this, you're gonna save as, or like I do, save for web devices because it just gives it like a little better, you know, clarity. You can go over one more time how to create a YouTube thumbnail. You can hit save and uh, YT thumbnail and hit save so that's it guys it's now saved in your file before my computer dies like the video if you enjoyed it comment down below if you have any trouble subscribe if you haven't subscribed already until next time guys this has been missed